You're watching Local 5 News. We are Iowa. Well, rail travel is booming here in Iowa. In 2021 alone, 90 million tons of goods were shipped or received. That number could grow even more. Local 5's Dave Downey is in Ottumwa tonight. This is the busiest rail crossing in Ottumwa, where Canadian Pacific's line meets Quincy Avenue on the west side of the city. And it's about to get a whole lot busier. It's a merger between Canadian Pacific and Kansas City Southern. If the deal is approved at the federal level, it will form the only railroad serving Mexico, the U.S., and Canada. But that means a whole lot more rail traffic. We are trying to proactively come up with solutions on how we can make this railroad crossing, especially uh, at the Quincy Avenue railroad crossing, more passable in the future. Which will be sorely needed. Atoma would see an increase from just over three trains per day to nearly 18. Railroad crossing times would also increase over 200 percent. I think that's part of the concern with the long delays at the railroad crossings. It prevents citizens from being able to get across the railroad tracks to their businesses or to their homes. Not only residents, but especially when the clock is ticking. If a fire truck or ambulance or any kind of emergency personnel needs to get through there, it could be very problematic and it could be very life threatening for people if you have long delays. There could be a pretty big economic benefit in it for Ottumwa as well. Mayor Johnson says a feasibility study will occur next year to see if a bridge could be built over the crossing. When shipping options are increased, which would occur with this type of merger, rates become more competitive. But the other aspect of it is there is going to be increased jobs in various parts of the state. The merger will be decided by April of next year, according to Martin. In Ottumwa, Dave Downey, Local 5 News. We're Iowa.